Hi guys, welcome to Tech Ledge. Today we'll be doing the one year hands down review of Moto One Power. I've had this phone for almost a year now, and I will have to say it's been quite a journey with this phone. Even though it's just a budget phone of 15,000 MRP, it still has its own surprises and gimmicks. And today I'll be telling you all about them. So let's get into it. So as you can see, I have not put any back cover or skin protector on the phone, and despite all that, the screen is pretty scratchless. It is Gorilla Glass 4. The back, however, has suffered a few minor dents and is made of full metal. The sides are made of entirely plastic and suffered a few chips here and there. Despite all this, the phone is pretty sturdy. It has fallen quite a few times from my pocket and is still intact. And the screen has not suffered any display errors so far. Next up, we have the fingerprint unlocking. The fingerprint unlocking on the phone is pretty responsive and fast. It opens up every time without fail. They also added the Moto logo inside the fingerprint sensor itself, something which we have wanted from the past models. Next up, we have the display. The Moto One Power has a 1.6 GHz 1080 into 1980 pixels display. Although it may not be fail responsive, it is pretty fast. Up next, we have the camera. As you can see, we can directly access it by shaking the phone. The Moto One Power has a 16 by 5 megapixel dual camera. Although they are not made with a great number of megapixels, it is pretty decent for a budget phone. And under preferable lighting, it can pull up real wonders. To break it down, Moto One Power isn't bad at all. It operates on Android 10 system on a Snapdragon 630 Qualcomm processor. Throughout my time of using it, I haven't faced any major issues like the phone crashing or overheating, not even major hangs or technical glitches. The 5000 mAh battery keeps it running for an entire day without any further charge required. Although a little heavy, it fits right into your hand. It's not too big or too small. And as I said earlier, if you drop your phone frequently, then you don't need to worry about it with this bad boy, as it's pretty sturdy. In my opinion, it is a really dependable budget phone. I give Moto One Power a solid 7 out of 10. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and leave a like if you did. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also leave your questions and queries down in the comment section. See you guys soon with another tech review.